Hey everyone, it's me. I wanted to show you, I built a new uh, tree for my birds today. I have a large wooded area next to a marsh, so I cut down limbs from bird safe trees and scrub them, set them in the pot along with pebbles and spray foam, etc. And then they have a new jungle gym to play on. A lot of people ask me, how do I do this? And they're all kind of just hanging out right there, right now. They're hanging out, doing their own thing and eating, but Anyways, um, I am a retired Army veteran, and I retired at the age of 47. I had gotten hurt in the military, so i uh, been hanging out for six years. I primarily got birds uh, as an older adult because of my PTSD. But as a little girl, I was about nine years old, my, my dad brought home a parakeet, and he became my best friend. I'm not afraid of them. I decided on Conyers because their beaks weren't large enough to take my fingers and toes on. So that was what worked for me. Come here, Charlie. Come on. So anyways, how do I do it? I don't have a magic pill. My house is very calm and quiet. That's the way I like it. My husband likes it that way too. We hang out. I let them out of their sleep cage at 8 o'clock. They come out, their cage is primarily left open. The cage is right there behind me. And then they have this tree and then the baby normally sleeps in this little sleep cage here um, and has her own space. But as you can tell, they've kind of taken it over because they're hungry. They get fresh pellets and water every day. I also give them fresh vegetables and rarely at any fruit because I heard fruit causes diabetes in birds. They have things to do. The window's open. Of course, the screen is closed, but they flock, call the blue jays and the other birds outside. But normally, they're very quiet. I don't know how I did it. I think maybe it's because I have females and not males, but I could be wrong. This is... I, I don't know if there's a secret. What I did was when Charlie came home, I and she would come out of the cage... I would shut the doors to the cage while she was on the top, and eventually I would stand next to her, teach her to step up, hand her a little treat, etc. But after I trained Charlie, I brought my second and third and fourth lovebird home, or sorry, Conyer home, and Charlie was basically the leader of the pack, which meant whatever she did, they did. So it was easier to get the rest to fall in line. I, I don't think there's any particular way to train. Everyone has their own tips and, and tricks. All I know is for me, my house is very quiet. My, my life is very quiet. It's very calm. I have two dogs and a myriad of reptiles. And all I know is that this works for me. I am not afraid of them. I take control if one is on me and it's biting. I, well, this is what I can do. I can pick them up Put them down, tell them no, and just set them down in the cage um, until they can respect me and respect my body and my space. See this one here? Yep. That's Charlie. She's the OG. Yes, love. So Charlie is a beautiful. She's just getting her flight feathers in. Oh, we do clip. The reason we clip is because I realized... Um, Clipping for us was easier to train. They have all of their friends, so they they have all of them are clipped. Um, four are getting their flight feathers in. Three of them fly all over the house and come back. They do their little <laughs> we call it the little the, the little flybys. It's so funny, but I think clipping for us has been absolutely wonderful because we were able to manage them and hold them and 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 show us they can um, trust us. So to each their own on that, I don't want to discuss it or argue about it. But anyways, um, come here, baby. Oh, see, she's little, so I'm going to show you what to do. Come here. Oh, good girl. Um, this is our newest baby. She's our cross beak. This is Winnie. So she's learning to step up. But other than that, I just want to show you, and I'll be back.